Hello my freaky darlings and welcome back to the channel where the spooky don't stop and neither do I. We are continuing Fran Bow. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna have to do this troll thing again. Right, right. It's always fun having to redo mini games. You can never really tell where the autosaves are. I'm just gonna click through. I'll work on that later. Alright, into the portal. And back with the troll. As long as I jump when Mr. M or right about the point where Mr. Midnight jumps, I should be fine. But I could always mess up and fall. I don't like when I do that. It happens though. I'm not gonna pretend that it doesn't happen. certainly makes this more tense than I think it needs to be. There we go. Now we're getting back into chapter four, part one, my imaginary friend. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into Thursda? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Are these my pills? Wow, but where are they going? <laughs> home. I guess home is in that direction. Pills, don't move! Ugh, do you want to show me the way back home? Oh no! I shouldn't have touched the pills! Bad, Fran! Bad, bad! What should I do now, kitty? We're trapped forever and ever. Now we still got a knife. I recognize that top hat. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Edward, your faithful friend. Edward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We have been playing together. I helped you get to Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They only believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend, the long man with the top hat? I always came by at night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You're quite familiar, and yes, I can't deny it. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me me home. I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Oh, you seem nice. 
I'll go with you, but I don't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now, I have something to show you. Why did you hide in the bush for that entire conversation? Behold, the itward flying machine. What do you think? Can it fly? Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower. That will give us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we're standing at the end limits of the second reality. But you're part of the third reality. Do you understand? I do understand. It sounds insane. But, sir, should I just wait here until you're done fixing the machine? Wait! Of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, alright? Alright. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great, here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Ah, and the fire berries. You realize which uh, berries to pick because of the fire. Can, why do you need the berries and the water? Ah, well the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas. I see. I hope they don't come near the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Invisible to my eyes? Let me see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries in the water. I'll be right back. Great! I'll be preparing the machine. Okay. Alright. Well, hello. Hello? Are you those shiny insects that got stuck on trees because you're curious? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I've met some of your kind before. I help them to get free of their curiosity. Ah, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. That sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Get out. Get out. You're trespassing on my territory. Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think you that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry. You seem to be all rotten and bloody. Rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Oh, why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Moose? I'm not a moose, I'm a deedle worm. Or a deadly worm. Oh, no, 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 not a deadly worm. A diddly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just return to the soil what the creatures took for it and don't eat anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Down here. Creature, can't you see me? My name is Bran. You're so tiny. <laughs> Hello, Bran. Can I ask, why do you touch the moose in the first place? Normally only scavengers touch dead animals. Are you one of them? Well, of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire berries. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid, but the fire berries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. I see the fire, but I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Uh... Okay, so... Obviously I'm missing something. I love how it used to say a home, but now it says hell. Well, I don't want to go there. You don't talk. So much hair and so much shiny. Disturbing. Ew, I look completely deformed. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty flesh. Tasty fresh flesh. Hmm. Alright, alright. Is there a 
path this way? No. just gave me this. I can't open it. Alright. There's nothing I can use here. But there seems to be even less I can use here. Please, would you let me tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why, that sounds insane! Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you tie the bucket really tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill the bucket up, please. Bucket is now full of water. Thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is a place we all wish to belong, but does home belong somewhere? I don't understand. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. The bucket is full of water. It doesn't weigh anything. Alright. Get out, scavengers! Climb again. Go ahead. <laughs> See. Fire is gone. I can take the berries now. I can't just... Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if most antlers can hold a ten-year-old. They might be able to. Okay, I still have the water. Despite using it. Did you find the fireberries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. Sir Edward, here's a bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They're nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? I haven't gone into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst thing you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. Fireberries. I brought the fireberries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, uh, friend, it's 2.34. The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. Alright. Come on, kitty. Ignore the mechanical bird. I know it's tempting. Oh, I just noticed that that blinked. It's 2.36. There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, friend? Maybe I'd be under or excited if I understood more about the realities. You will soon understand the answers aren't easy to recognize. It sounds strange. Time proceeds as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time you must explore and experience to understand. That means the answers will come to you when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. 
Kitty, are you licking that wheel? Don't look at me all innocent. I saw you do it. Cats. No, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You've awoken my curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking won't get you home. What thing, sir? This machine needs a maintenance and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. Cool. You'll need them to get the fuel mixed and the water pump working again. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun. Okay. Well, before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and examine the book. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo, in one of the thousand. Interesting. Uh, 1908 on July 11th. My name is Leon. I am currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing, and since childhood I've always talked to animals, plants, and insects, even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers, maybe you can see things that others can't, or you feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Cry because it hurts inside my head. The stone of wisdom inside my head. I had a vision. Uh, December 19th, 1875, by the way. Uh, I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me I was the key to its existence. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around, near me, tells me lies, tells me about all the pain and suffering in my life. Another me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, Kill yourself. I tried, hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. January 15th, 1876. I met a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Kamalas. The race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born freed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path by. Uh, after it, I believe water may purify them. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch, and after the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing, and after a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If Thirsto awaits, all Balakas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Ramor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking Etherstam may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Valakus invitation. Since I saw the Valakis, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. May 13th. I get a visit from my son Brian. I've told him about the things I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand the reality presented before my eyes that is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son... He thinks I'm insane. July 25th. 
Same year. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors. Natural laws. Without those behaviors and without those laws, it wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm, while dying. November 11th. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with pink liquid inside the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized, and the bacteria seem to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creatures. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. November 22nd. <laughs> it says 27th. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Atharsta are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. That might have helped me. Ahi, fa, si, thi, ish, yafi, e, ox, ie, igi, kau, elia, mai, nihi, o, pe, kiu, igre, sahi, dem, i, ie, iedes, yox, igres, inch, au, ai. The great Balakas is the beginning of the first reality. Primeve, light. The Valakus body structure is quite different from ours. They're made of photos or photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster reaches age two million ninety-nine or two hundred and ninety-nine million seven hundred and ninety-two thousand four hundred and fifty-nine, they are crowned with the shield. ZR Creation of the Great Valakas, King of Athirsta. Second reality, life. Re February 13th. Being in Athirsta feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling out the tree and water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms uh, of essential existence, free. Resides in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Center city. The end of vibration, when both ends of opposites are the same degree, resides in the third and fourth reality, death. Mabuka is the end of light. March 23rd. <laughs> March 23rd. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's a part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No date. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. The Luciferns gather in filaments, which is why they look like they're growing hair and the big faces, mostly for communication purposes and to scare predators. I only hope my body can survive the journey. October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones to create a force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. Maybe I should push the button. Alright, button has been pushed. I wonder what kind of things this machine counts. Oh, this looks like a mathematical problem. I won't try to solve it, I have other things to do. Many shoes. Maybe they're too tight for the big it word. That's King Zr. I recognize him. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. Many things to look at. Oh, this ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. Okay, so I guess it's this one I have to go through. Ah. Dip, dip. Look at this mess. Edward doesn't know about hygiene. Uh, are those for drinking water? They're quite small. I don't need this pencil. I already have crayon. These things have flowers. Well, I'll just leave it there. 
Okay, so fireberries, AFM. You like a water tank, aren't you? Pump is now filled with water. Okay, so... Right, that's another piece of paper I can take. So... So the red one goes from R15 to 2PF, the 18 to whatever that is, is the blue. So red. Oh my god, why? Okay, so AFM is you. Fireberries that aren't on fire into the vase ready. Blue hose ready to use. There we go, there's that one. goes on the spot. And yet, it needs to be in there. So, A18, 2PF, R15. A18 and 2PF. 2PF is the center, 2PF is the center, 2PF is the center. I don't think this needs to be turned on in order to work. Burning quite a lot, that's good. Okay, so now what? It's a huge thing top. Oh, right, uh, something goes in here. Right, uh, one sixty six. But that still leaves the question of this doesn't connect all the way. So what do I do? What do I do? Is there another? Is there another tube somewhere? I don't see another tube. What, do I just wait? Alright, um, uh, oh, okay, that has to go that way. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's like tubes missing. Tube's missing, and I don't have anything I can use to, like, jury break it. My hose seems to be damaged. Light is red, it's not working. Okay. 
Okay, pilot light. Nope, okay. Got tape or anything? Ah, we do have tape. Wooden foot hammer. I have questions and I'm not sure I want the answers. requires a key for sure. Something's missing. Okay, so I can fix this. Okay, so there's that. But what do we do here? I don't know if anything I can like take apart. Cause I show for sure that something's working. Can you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? The fuel mix and the water pump working. Follow the wall mules. It's like a manual, but on the walls. That's not helping me. Hello, France speaking. Um, there's a lot of these things. So many pages to read. Where's closed? Okay, what the hell? Sorry for what I did. Oh, little key. Wonder what it's for. Yeah, okay. I'm not touching that one. Oh, hello. I forgot to give myself some love. Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Okay. Oh, well, it has sort of a connector. What's the missing part? Okay, the connector should go to those two. Even if it works, I don't know what it does. Okay. <laughs> 
Some of these puzzles, I swear. Okay. There's more. It's like a green octopus. Those. There. Do I just put you on the pink one? Yes, okay. I think it's done. Super chemistry past your friend bow. Ron, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed quite well too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Brian. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I want to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm, I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. Of all the things I've seen, I can't imagine just one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit or one with horns and killer eyes? You will have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. Brave you are, my dear. Follow me now. All right, before we do that... There we go. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but neither side could decide if what they were, if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad, and this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls, inside of their minds, it would the creature of the night. He always came around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality, but they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mita one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. And then Edward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped. In a world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. He gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. 
the end. Everything about Clara and Mia is pretty sad. They're not nice, but they're pretty sad. There, see, it's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? Oh, it's just a toy. It doesn't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. All right, I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. See, just a fluffy rabbit, nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran, there's nothing to be afraid of. What? Don't go, Mr. Midnight, this is not funny. Snatching my cat, tasty carrots. Hello, are you Edward's other hat? I like the hat. Edward made a paper boat. These bulbs don't know whether to stay turned on or off. Okay. Uh, wrench could be useful. I don't need it. Green leaves. Three. Three, five, two, four. Nuts and bolts. and I need a battery. I don't see one in here though. That worked. That worked a little too well. It's like an elevator. Ah! Oh, okay. Coming back down. We did it! Oh, hello. I'm starting to not need my pills. Sliced to ribbons. Water symbol, I guess this is connected to something. It was three, five, two, four, I think. Clearly wrong. I've seen these in movies. The thief always knows what to do. What was the thing? Yeah, th three, five, two, four. Okay, so it wasn't wrong, but. Right. Oh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Maybe the rabbit's angry or hungry or both. Okay, so eight right, five right, eight left. Six right. This is dumb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five. And then eight left, six right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I have the pills back and I forget to use them. Can't see very well. Oh, right, it's the blue one. Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party. I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied in order to divert your attention in another direction. I'm sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. All right, thank you, kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. The cake is made of all your favorite ingredients. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you, Fran, from all members of the ship. This means all of us naturally born or handmade being, or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. cat doll. Thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know? Like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is ultra reality what I see? It depends. Would you like an explanation? Yes. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at these exact coordinates of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time slow or fast or just invisible to the human eye. Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future, defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have different perception of the environment, and it's not linked to different uh, definitions. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure. I think maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really, how exciting. All right, here I go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dear, what's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you all right? I'm all right, but the ship... I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by Kamala's. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Fight it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water that cleans the dirt away. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. My goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my friend. We have to find the Kamala. I hope the water destroys it. Let's go. water in the bucket. Okay, how do I do this? I think I know. Ah, don't run away, where are you going? The door is closed, maybe it can open it later. Maybe I can open it right now. It just was not going to do that with this rabbit there.
gonna keep spraying you with water. I think I finally got rid of the corona. I'm the best. I should go back to Edward. Oh, well, it uh, knocked me out of my pill state. Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please don't tell me this. It's not fair. It's not fair. I will always take care of you, my dear. And the ship kept going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Delightful. The end. I don't think it is. But that's a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. Alright, this is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. When she promised to never forget me or about the magic of everything. I promise it, Word. I'll never forget you. Good, now it's time for sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. The doctor's prescription. Uh, this has been going on a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and break this into two parts. I will start this back up in a few moments. Uh, in the meantime, thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things that help uh, YouTubers out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!